All right, man, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're discussing the judge giving his verdict on Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade. And uh, yeah, we be back, man, Sketchpad. You know what it is. You want to donate links right there also links in the description and all that good stuff so look man we're gonna let this clip play and then we're gonna come back and discuss what it is all right man let's go breaking news the judge has ruled in the Fonnie willis case with all of its courtroom drama and extramarital scandal judge scott mcafee says fulton county district attorney Fonnie willis can remain on former President Donald Trump's election interference case. Here's a catch. Her lover and head prosecutor, Nathan Wade, has to go. I'm Harris Faulkner. You are in the Faulkner Focus. We are standing by for any response that we might get from Fonnie Willis after this huge decision in the case against her that alleged conflict of interest and inappropriate movement of cash between Fonnie Willis and the man she hired and had an affair with, Nathan Wade. The judge wrote this, there's a significant appearance of impropriety that infects the current structure of the prosecution team, and there's no choice but to change it. We carried it all live. Remember these fierce moments in the Willis Wade courtroom case. You've been intrusive into people's personal lives. You're confused. You think I'm on trial. These people are on trial for trying to steal an election in 2020. I'm not on trial, no matter how hard you try to put me on trial. Fonnie and Wade claim their relationship began after she hired him in 2021 to the tune of three quarters of a million dollars. However, testimony and text messages from former friends and colleagues shredded their timeline. You have no doubt that their romantic relationship was in effect from 2019 until the last time you spoke with her. No doubt. The text messages go like just date, and that's from Ms. Merchant. Ms. Merchant says, do you think it started before she hired him? Mr. Bradley says, absolutely. Now, absolutely is not a speculative word. All right, man, look, man. Say some things real quick. This is the justice system for you. Rules for thee and not for me. The reason why I say that is because she clearly lied a couple of times, <clears throat> made up stuff, just said she used cash. My thing is like the judge literally says that the, that it's basically infected. This case is infected. He gives her an ultimatum and says, either you and your whole staff leave and Nathan Wade or Nathan Wade. What sense does that make? So you're basically saying either you remove yourself and Nathan Wade or you remove Nathan Wade. Obviously she's going to choose her and her team because what sense does it make to remove her and him? How does that make sense? That's like the dumbest thing ever. So the judge rules in her favor and gives her the option. How are you giving, how is she even on the case? If you telling her that the case is infected, right? And you removed a person, you removed a guy that she appointed. How you remove him? He was the one that got hired for the job. <laughs> You're supposed to remove the person who did the hiring. That's the company. He works for the company. He didn't do anything but what she told him to do. But you you, you get him fired? How does that even make sense? She was the one who did all the dirt. <clears throat> but you remove, you tell her, 
how can you give somebody an option? It's like somebody doing something and the police give them an option. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Either you go to jail and all your friends and him or he go to jail. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How does that make sense? So now, so now she's back at it again. But the thing is, everybody knows what it is now. And yeah. she's going to have to appoint another special prosecutor, which probably not going to happen. Nobody's going to want to take that case. Because mm-hmm. it's bull. It's bullshit. Nobody wants to take it. But it's just crazy to me how the judge ruled like that. I just don't understand his logic. It's like, if you're saying that it's the case, they were doing some, they were doing some things that were, you know, inappropriate but then you turn around and say well either he go or you go in him obviously she's gonna that's a layup for her it's a layup but hey man it is what it is yeah um i ain't got much to say man this you know this whole case is just crazy and uh you know uh it, it's 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 like a it's literally a back and forth thing you know um you know at the end of the day at the end of the day it all leads back to one thing and that's you know whether she's going to get found guilty or not you know what i'm saying well but, she if she 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 not on trial so she's not going to get found guilty of anything if, okay. if, well, if you mean like uh, if you talking about the house coming after her, yeah, but she's not. Yeah. There, there's no charges pending against her right now. So, but the thing is, what, what's what's really going on with her is she's trying to she's trying to get a trial date, but they don't even have a trial date. See, the thing is, mm-hmm. Trump's lawyers and Trump's team, they're happy that this happened because now they can appeal. Now, when they appeal, they're basically going to say, well. I mean, the judge didn't want to say it, but we got to appeal because she was doing some things and she knew the guy, Nathan Wade, before. That's another thing, too. You got two people saying that this actually happened. They saying that they were in a relationship before. Before they prosecuted Trump. That's one flag. The second flag is they didn't even let the judge know that they were messing around. You're supposed to let the judge know that. And they didn't. That's a mm. that's two flags right there. <clears throat> How does that not disqualify you if the judge finds out that you were messing around? And then the three, why how so you telling me that a witness doesn't matter anymore? Now the witness comes out and says that she know that they were messing around and you don't take the witness cre- cre- um, into consideration as, as, as credible. The witness knew her. She was her best friend. She knew her and they, and they was messing around and she told them. And the other guy, he basically said in the text message the the, the chick said, was they messing around? And in the text message, he, he said, absolutely. He said they were messing around. Then he gets on the stand and act like he don't know. And then he pulled the text messages up and said, you didn't say this. You don't know what this means. Mm. But the judge still rules in her favor. How? You got two people basically admitting that she was messing around before, the, before they filed charges. Like, come on, bro. It's an easy one for you. But mm. I know why he did that. Because he's up for reelection and he's in a mostly Democratic state mostly Democratic uh, 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 county or whatever you want to call it. And mm-hmm. they already know that people going to get, you know, send them threats and all that good stuff. You know what I mean? Which I don't think that people should do that, but still that's what they're going to do. And he wanted to, he played it safe. So what he did was he gave her the option to remove him. And now she had to find somebody else, which nobody's going to take. And then it's going, she's going to probably end up running with the two, same two people, but they ain't going to go nowhere with this case because they're not really good. They're, they're, they're all, they bump, uh, uh, flipping over themselves. They're not that good. So, it is what it is, man. 
Anything else? No, I'm good, man. All right, man. We out of here. Sketchpad, you know what it is. See y'all.